Hi guys, Daniel here, and today we are going to do problem number two on the website projectoiler.net. And this time I'm going to complete this with the JavaScript. So first, let's look at the problem. Each new term in the Fibonacci sequence is generated by adding the previous two terms. By starting with 1 and 2, the first 10 terms will be 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on. By considering the terms in the Fibonacci sequence, whose values do not exceed 4 million, find the sum of the even value terms. So let's first see what we should do here. Well, we're trying to find the sum of a bunch of numbers. So first, let's create a variable called sum. And let's set it to 0 to initialize it. And uh, next, we need to create a recursive uh, loop or some sort of routine to calculate the corresponding Fibonacci numbers so to do this, I'll create two variables. Let's just call it a equals 1 and b equals 2. And uh, using these two variables, I'll be able to uh, calculate the next value in the Fibonacci sequence and then test if that's even and then calculate the next one and then the next one and so on. So with these two variable, initial variables calculated, let's create the loop now. Well, first of all, since uh, b is even, then we can add that to sum directly. So might as well just change this to starting out equal 2. So now let's create the loop. While, so in this case, I'll have a always be less than b. So b will go up to the next Fibonacci number, then a will replace b, and then b will go up to the next Fibonacci number, and a will replace b again. So I want b is less than 4 million. And we want to do something in here. So let's actually, actually, let's just test if b is even directly in here. If b, b the remainder when b is div divided by 2 is equal to 0, if that's true, then we add b to sum. So sum plus equals b. Otherwise, we don't do anything. We don't add it to the sum. And after we're done with adding the b to the sum, if it's even, we have to change b to the next Fibonacci number and change a to the previous Fibonacci. So let's see what we should do here. Well, we want to have b equal to uh, a plus b, so, or just b plus equal to a. And we also want a is equal to b. But we already changed b in this statement to b plus or equal to a. So let's just create a third placeholder variable to store temporarily store the value of b. Uh, I'll just call it, I don't know, temp or something like that. So in this case, we can first let temp equals b, and then we set b to increment it to the next Fibonacci number. And then we set a equals temp, which sets it to the value of b that it originally was. Now a and b have just moved on to the next Fibonacci number, and now we can test if this Fibonacci number is even again. And if it is, we sum it. And then repeat, repeat, and so on like that. And uh, hopefully, this code will be able to give us the right answer. And finally, of course, we need to print out whatever the sum is. So let's add that in. And uh, I think we're done here. So let me go through the code one more time before we run it. We start with a, a variable called sum, and we initialize it to zero, so we can add stuff to it later. This will be the final answer that we, uh, that we output. Then we set two variables a and b to be consecutive Fibonacci numbers in the Fibonacci sequence, and we recursively move both of these numbers up but one by one in the Fibonacci sequence to loop through all the Fibonacci numbers that are under 
4 million. First, when we loop this, we first test if b is an even number, or rather, if b is the remainder when b is divided by 2 is 0. And if this is true, then we add b to the sum. Otherwise, we just don't do anything. Now we're done, once we're done with adding this b to the sum if when it's even, we need to increment b and a by 1 in the Fibonacci sequence. To do this, we first set a temporary variable to equal b, then increment b to the next place in the Fibonacci sequence by adding a to it. Finally, we let a equal the number that b originally was. This successfully moves b up 1 in the Fibonacci sequence and a up 1 in the Fibonacci sequence. And uh, after we're done, we're done with this loop, sum should contain the sum of all the even Fibonacci sequence Fib Fibonacci numbers under 4 million and uh, this should print out the correct answer. So let's test if this works. Refresh. Four six one three seven three two, and I believe that this is the indeed the correct answer because I already submitted it and got it correct. So we are done. Today we are going to do problem number one of the 2015 IMO, this year's IMO. So let's first read the problem. We say that a finite set S of points in the 